Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are playing on the LZ Alpha with our 10 little minions that I get to do what I want with. Uh, we are currently trying to keep them alive. I, I think this is probably the better view, uh, better long term solution for this game, is if we try and keep the minions alive. Uh, today, we are going to try and sort out the ever dwindling water supply issue that we have over here. Last time we went through and tried and sorted out a beautiful boat oxygen and a water system for the base it was something that we were quite uh, severely needing especially with the atmospheric suits that we have got on the go right now another thing that I'm going to be working on is this uh, gas reclamation system it is pretty much the thing that we've been working on almost all the time uh, we've got a few we've got an output that we don't really know what to do with uh, this is of course the oxygen output the polluted oxygen output sorry so I've already got missile line going around and building some of these deodorizers here so that the polluted oxygen that gets vented out here can be picked up by these two turned into regular oxygen and turned into the beautiful oneness that we all breathe around beautifully Woo, yeah, okay, so that's pretty cool. That is what we're going to be going to do here. I think my first thing is I want the, the duplicates to come along and start setting free this water over here. I have been, like, uh, worked up for a, a deep waterfall for a little time now, and they've not actually been working towards it. So I'm going to go ahead and try and make that happen so that we can watch some, some like, really wonderful spillage. Uh, also, a little bit worried that we're going to have a spill over this side if we just go straight ahead and do that. So if I put these here, this will then completely seal this area in and hopefully we can get people doing that before they dig through the wall over here. <laughs> We get a little bit worried that whilst we were pumping this water out to be used in the base, we might run out of hydrogen and oxygen. But keep an eye on this system for a little while. It seems to be uh, turning over as normally as it does. Uh, we do have a bit of oxygen in the system, which means that the pipes will not be completely full up over here. Uh, maybe this is something we could work on at some point. Uh, if we could get a, like another another pump down here, so, uh, only uh, exclusively picking up the oxygen. Okay, the uh, the dam is in place and I think up here people are starting to get down and doing the digs where they need to be that's pretty cool they don't seem to want to come down this way here so I'm gonna put a couple of ladders in either side this should hopefully speed the whole process up immensely mad Frank coming up and doing the uh, the, the ladder dig here uh, the ladder build as well that's pretty cool so we can get a bit of overflow going on I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the polluted water here it is something that we have a line for coming out of here this this line this one right here is for polluted water so maybe we'll pick it up uh, but of course if it goes into the pinch of peppers whilst it's this cold it will be a big problem okay we're gonna do it i'm a madman i'm gonna do it let's do it we're gonna put that one down there we're gonna get ourselves a pump a liquid pump uh, i'm not sure where we're gonna power it from this might be the first problem that we solve here we've got ourselves a little um transformer over there so if i get myself a wire bridge can we turn this this way do that beautiful uh move this down here we're making this out of iron which is the readily available and local resource uh we then want to get ourselves the plumbing and i want to insulate it on the way out of here in fact no i don't i know i don't this is probably a lot colder than any of the other stuff around here so we're going to take it up like so i'm, I'm worried that it's actually going to freeze on route i'm worried that it's going to freeze on route okay no i am going to do it with the with the insulated pipe moving around changing my ideas this is how it all works out okay so we'll bring the insulated pipe up and across here as long as we can draw some straight lines it will work out beautifully for us up this ladder and then we'll jump over into a non-insulated pipe up here because it's nice and warm now uh, so we should be able to keep the, the the pipes nice and warm of course the main aim is to actually make uh, the pipe the water quite warm for the pinch peppers up here because these uh these have a real real issue of having a, to have their body temperatures over 30 35 degrees and of course if we're pumping in under freezing water oh it's going to be horrific oh misaligned doing wonderful work collecting all the water together here let's see what happens here i'm, I'm not sure oh, because it's all connected up the top we shouldn't have any sort of like uh suction issues where the water doesn't want to uh push its way through it looked like we might have had a small problem here and you can see there are small little uh, liquid locks setting up but this should all be able to sort itself out as mist goes around and destroys a few other rocks these ones here in particular will save a lot of hassle and perhaps maybe we want to just knock a hole maybe there would actually be the better, better, better play 
Okay, so that little hole got knocked in through the roof there, and I'm expecting that to mean that we don't have more uh, locking issues here. I could definitely see if we kept this uh, this gas pocket here, we would end up with like a bit of a backage forming up if we dropped all the water down. And I do actually want to drop all the water down if possible. So let's try something like that and like this. That should actually work out well for us. I'm also going to go ahead and put the priority up on these lot because they're, they're the ones that I want to drop. I want to drop from the top down if possible. Look, we could even take out these here and get a little bit of extra water added to it. Uh, we're obviously going to end up with a fine covering on a lot of the surfaces here. Oh, 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 the dig has happened here. We missed one of the one of the great flows. Ah, that, that's a bit of a shame, actually. I really wanted to watch that happen. So you can see one of the pressure situations uh, forming up here where we've got this water being flown uh, down the down the slope here but there should be it should be flowing quicker because of this pressure head here but because of this sort of atmospheric lock that is forming up at the front here it's not able to just kind of like push its way through i should imagine this is even going to send end up setting up a bit of a suction system in the end uh, that'd be interesting because obviously this amount of gas is going to end up getting spread over like all of this area it's going to drop down to about half of where we're at i should imagine hmm 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 yeah they're gonna be very interesting very interesting indeed oh look jelly jelly what are you doing it's like literally in the middle of the night you're coming down for some food what what have you got what is this what is this no jelly's decided it's too far away he needs to go to the toilet instead ah. Well, let's have a look at these principles then. We might have... Uh, I'll take some aluminium ore. I was kind of hoping for some food. We do have a supplying plus seven, but I'm not going to. Not today. It's not like we're not already right on the knife edge of food. One thing that we might want to try and keep an eye on at some point is the fact that this ice is starting to get down to freezing... Uh, to thawing temperatures, sorry. And there's something like 15,000 kilograms of ice in here. Uh, I might want to... Can, can liquids go through the pneumatic door? You know what? I'm going to just rip this down and put a different door up just in case. So we're building up quite a reservoir of water here now. It'd be great to bring it all the way down and through to this section here because this, this is already starting to run out and we've not even not even filled this up a little bit yet though of course when the uh when when that all melts that's going to be very interesting we'll just put a mechanicized mechanicized yeah mechanized uh door up there that should work out brilliant jelly putting the work in and in quarter of a cycle we have lost 0.1 of a degree centigrade so it's gonna be a fair few before we got have ourselves a big problem ah uh, we are 400 calories short of a day of the day's rations why is this because we are lacking in pressure this is exactly why we've got this system set up. Mm, we might need to make ourselves a new pressure system, especially look at the back backlog that is happening here. We could vent a lot of this into the base, right? Okay, for the record, I'm fairly sure this is a bad idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to get a gas pipe out. We're going to go all the way across there, and then all the excess oxygen is going to end up down in the gas vent, right? Hopefully, that's actually how it works out. We, we, we can... Hope. What, but my main and actual plan is to overpressurize this area so that all of this ends up with a you know a good level of pressure, but also so we're not actually spilling out excess oxygen over here because the base will be full to like bursting point. In positive news, Mad Frank has been going around and doing the insulated piping all the way from down there down to here, so that should be amazing. Eventually, he'll get down to all this uh, metal work down here, and then the whole thing will start sucking up the polluted uh, uh, polluted water down here. I'm wondering whether we can dig through and under here to get this all picked up by the same system. Of course, making everything out of granite was a superb choice because it wasn't the default that had been left on in any way, shape or form. Uh, and of course, it was the superb choice because that is the uh, local material we can just go and dig from around here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Just make sure there's enough raw materials lying around that when, when these guys need them, it's, it's no big thing. Yeah, we've even got more just underneath here. A little disappointed that the hydrogen generator isn't running right now, which means this isn't running because the pipes are blocked. Why are the pipes blocked? What's going on? What's what's the problem here? Oh, it's the oxygen. That's that's okay because that's gonna get solved at some point, right, guys? Yeah. Okay, let's let's turn up the priority on this a little bit. Let's go for sevens here and see if this is something that gets worked out. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so because that's uh, that really is the lifeblood of the of the base right there. 8.7 on the water, by the way. We're getting there. We're getting close. We're getting low. I'm a little disappointed that these guys didn't do the work before the uh, the end of the, the end of the cycle kicked in. Uh, I, I should imagine someone 
someone's going to come along. Like Mad Frank, he doesn't like working. Uh, he doesn't like taking time off in the evening. He likes just working through, right? Maybe he'll come and do it. That that would be great. Obviously, we're still... Uh, it is all construction errands, so I don't see why they've not done it. It's not like it needs deliveries, right? Let's come over here, have a look. Yeah, building. Building Mad Frank, not permitted. Do you know what I'm going to do? Bam. Yeah, you, you know. You knew this was coming up at some point. We can't have an episode without a decent amount of uh, of alert abuse in here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just get the whole base to come along and work on this if we could. That's doing pretty good. It would have been nice if someone other than Decipher would have done the building on the on the uh, awkward bit there, the thing that takes the most time to be built. Uh, that that I obviously, ideally, would have been Mad Franks, but at that point, it's just taking the person who is closest. All right, let's pull open that gas display and see what happens along here. A little bit of bad timing, because obviously these guys are waiting to be topped up from their daily use of the oxygen, uh, but it should actually now, from this point on, oh, no, if I press the right button, start flowing oxygen through. I'm surprised there's so much going down. I'm expecting that to back up very shortly. Okay, the first two are now containing a thousand grams of oxygen, so they're like backed up. And now all the uh, all the liquids, the gases, sorry, are flowing past and making their way to the air as they're needed. This one is not backed up. This one is not. This one is on the end, though. That's pretty good. Uh, and we're getting a fair bit of oxygen coming out. But of course, right now, all the duplicates are going to come along and steal the atmospheric suits. That's actually not a problem because it means they're no longer going to be getting topped up. Let's have a look at these. We've got 190 needed there. Uh, uh, sorry, 190 in there, but only 10 needed. 198 on this one. This is beautiful. Okay, it is, it is actually going to back up pretty well for us. Okay, here comes the first drop off of the uh, of the suits here. Uh, we know it's going to eat 50, but does that mean that we're going to completely lose out on the on the pressure? I don't know. F1 over here is looking good. As long as people come over to come down here to breathe, then it's all good, right? As much as I'm glad Decipher is coming down to get involved, he does a lot of the digging, and that's not something. Uh, not the digging, the building, and that's not something I really want him to be doing. I'd rather he was just doing the supplying. Yeah, let's put the building down on a nothing for him. There we go. And then he can just do a bit of a supply. Ooh, we are running out of water down here. But let's go and see how the ice is dealing with. Because uh, this is going to become a big problem. 15 tonnes of water in here. Just to, just to point out, this, this liquid is probably one tonne in that corner there. 1,000 kilograms. That's about a tonne, right? I hope it's a 1,000, not a million. You know, one of the main reasons that we did this water was to make sure that we had the uh, supplies for the research. And now that that has happened, we don't have any more research ticking over. We did, of course, come along and make sure that we got the renewable energies. We, we will go and work on that steam geyser at some point. But you know what? I've been looking at this solid transport stuff for a little while. I think I would like to get that rolling. We do, of course, also need to get this uh, smelting at some point. You know... I'm going to divert from that quickly. We're going to go do the smelting because uh, a little bit of uh, better heat management for the, uh, the, the, the the conversion process here would be great. So far, we're losing half our ore every time we try and reprocess it. And that, that's not an amazing uh, payoff right there. I wonder if we'll ever get to the point where we don't have germs in the toilet water. I, I mean, I really doubt it. That's why we've got this nice closed system so that we don't ever have to not have germs in there. But... I wonder if we'll ever cook through it all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We just had some polluted ice fall to the floor and melt. Oh no. I don't want it to go into that. I bet it's already on its way though. Oh, it's going to end up in our water. Uh... Okay, we need to put a cap on this badly. Oh, Mad Frank, where are you? I need you to do these things. Oh, we got like heavy what wire running down there. We can't do that. Uh, P9, I mean, this is already highest priority possible. Uh, this isn't, right? Frank's not going to do the stuff, though, because this isn't... It's not It's not his remit. Oh, look, it's happening. Oh, it's going bad. Uh, a lot of it is making through. Um, oh, man. What, what, do, what do we do to fix this? What do we do to fix this? I suppose we could put, like, some sort of filtration system here. Uh, so if it's polluted water... Okay, right, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, oh, uh, yeah, just, just rip these down. Just do it now. It's very important. All right, Miss Line did the cleanup. That's pretty cool. If we could get the get the people working in here, then we could like never have to worry about it again. That that would be much better, much much better. We're gonna disable the, like the entire system for a little bit. Uh, so not not ideal. It's got to be said, but it, it will do. It will. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the power running back down to these guys, and that's just as simple as doing that, okay? The next thing I want to do is get into the plumbing and get a liquid filter done. Uh, I want to turn this around. Uh, is that the right flow? That is the right flow, so we'll do that there. Insulated pipe comes down and in, insulated pipe goes into the water, and then we'll have the polluted water come out and get dispersed over this side. Beautiful, as long as that all works out well for us. It has formed a stacking system. Oh, I never thought that would actually work. I, I just did it as an experiment. Hmm, nice. Okay, what about over here where I did it uh, underneath the base? Is this not, not so much? Not so much. There's not enough to back up, I think. That's the problem. Okay, so we're being told occasionally that we have a bit of a food shortage on the go, but we're actually doing a little bit better on the breathing. Down here, you can see we've got like thousand, wow, you know, a couple of hundred grams of oxygen. But up here, we have an entire 200 grams of oxygen. You know, it's it's, it's doing quite well. It's doing quite well. We've got nearly a thousand in, in the bedroom, though. That's pretty good. These guys, not doing quite so well, but you know, they're not, they're not the founders. They're not the first group. We pr probably do something about it, though. Obviously, this is the rational way to deal with it. I can't see any way of this backfiring on me and maybe like yeah, spreading the uh, the gases out too thin to actually be dealt with. Nah, no, nah, of course not. Our man Frank wakes up and gets straight on it. He is the star builder in here. It's got, it's got to be said. He's just like, he, he's like, brakes? What are brakes? Who needs brakes? So it looks like the breathing is enough to start dropping the pressure down below what it can handle. 150 grams. Yeah, that's really not much pressure. Uh, and it's not much difference either. Okay, we'll have to... Uh, well, hoping that this will actually fix it, to be fair. All right, gas is getting redistributed. Let's see what's going on. Is this one going to... No, no, you're going down in the old pathway. What about you? Yeah, okay, you're going on straight. That should be good. And hopefully adding ooh, 600 grams of oxygen to this area will help out. I do think that now maybe it's time to seal up this top. We're no longer dealing with hydrogen like flooding the base. There, There is still maybe a little bit more than we would like up here. In fact, no, there's none. Yeah, let's seal it up and call it good. Oh, look, the puffs escaped. Good good luck, sir. I don't think you're going to survive very long down here. So Mad Frame's coming through here and making the whole resupply system for the liquid, uh, polluted liquid here. I'm also going to go through and select polluted water on here. Oh, I didn't put enough power in it. Oh, of course, there's always one thing that you forget, and today it was power. We go up there and through there, and it looks like actually... Lol, the other thing we forgot. No, here is the, the, the insulated pipe. That, that's cool, that's cool. I, th I thought for some reason that we hadn't done that. But of course, we did that together on camera. Okay, up here, we've got water coming through at a very, very cold rate. But by the time it gets up here, it should start picking up a little bit of heat. If we press, uh, is it F3? You can see that this is where the temperature starts changing. In fact, maybe what we want to do is go for the plumbing. I'm not going to go for the radium pipe, but the liquid pipe. I think we could just change from about here up. Uh, just the normal, normal pipes. I think that would work out pretty well for us. Wham! All right, new printable available. Let's have a look and see if it's giving us anything we want. No, we won't take the cut the, the puffler. I, I will always take a new animal if at all uh, applicable, applicable. Uh, but you know that that's the. I was kind of hoping for food because once again we got to the situation where we're not doing incredibly well. Where is this lettuce even kept? I don't, I don't believe you. Oh, here comes the polluted water. It's coming through at 20 degrees, 30 degrees by the time it gets up here. That's pretty good. So we went all the way from whatever this is, minus 14 out here, which means this must be getting very cold in here. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's coming through at, like, minus 13. But that is then going through the radiant pipe and getting warmed up enough for the uh, for the old pincher peppers here to grow grow quite nicely. Maybe we've already starved him to death, though. Well, I mean, it's, he's on his way. He's on his way. This is like coming along to make a very interesting dig right now, I believe. Hopefully she should come up here and make a hole through there. Beautiful, beautiful. Down comes the water. Is it going to make any difference to down below? I think, I think actually it might work out quite well for us. There seems to be quite a thick slug of that liquid stuff coming down here. All right, that's beautiful. So that's all empty out of there. Now we just need to wait for it to drip down here. I assume that like some sort of like cohesive surface tension thing is on the go here, holding it up on the slope. 
I wonder how they've actually gone ahead and implemented that. It's very nice anyway, however it is. But anyway, it gives us a whole bunch of more water down here. That's beautiful. Talking of water, you know what I've been ignoring for uh, a little while now. Yeah, over here, 7.9. Also, I really want to pick up that depleted water, please. Uh, I've made it so people... No, 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 it's all right. People can come through here. Yeah, if we could um, even P9 on that, that would be great. All right, cool. That is sweet. Okay, here comes Luna. Hopefully she's going to just get all of the all of the mess here. There shouldn't be any, uh, any non-polluted water there. Beautiful, beautiful. She even picked up a bit of normal water. I'm not that bothered about that. Can we just actually empty that right there? Uh, not without a... Uh, dupe being involved. That's fine, that's fine. Down here, hopefully, we should now have the power involved so that no longer can that, like, polluted water get into our normal water supply. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh, look, it's taken absolutely forever. But we've made our first bit of slime, guys. Oh, yeah. So with the connection of the pump down the bottom here, it started picking up all the polluted water, as I said, was the uh, the plan. It's taken it all the way up and dumped it on the floor here. And then finally, we have released enough polluted oxygen into the air. Let's have a look here. That this puff managed to get hold of some of it and create a little bit of slime. I wonder if this is now going to get fertilized. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Off you go to Cypher. Do the job. All right. Cool. Wow. Mushrooms grow. Told you it wasn't a failed thing. Five episodes ago or something. <laughs> Of course, another great side effect of that is the pinch peppers are growing properly, so I don't worry about the Dracos anymore. That's that's cool. That's really cool. Super cool. So in that case, should we start wrangling? I think I think wrangling might be a, a cool here. I also feel like we need to tidy this up. So hopefully, if I just put this as a super high priority, and it really was a super high priority, we should be able to go through and pick up all the stuff here. Okay, what have we got that's not able to be picked up? This lumber, we might have to actually deal with that. Uh, down here, we've got somewhere that actually really is begging for it to be placed if we go to the power and we go to the wood burner it could quite easily just kind of go here right i think i think i think maybe even we can just make that happen if i do this and then rip down these not not all we've got we got stuff running through there we don't uh, so x someone asked me how do i do this the other day so uh, when i press x or when i click this deconstruct button down here you can see you've got this whole list of different things um Buildings are uh, the buildings tab um, that like tire I don't, I don't know how to, to, to word it other than buildings. I feel like it's a terrible term um, But buildings are there because you know it is a uh, power things not not building uh, I suppose actually that that is the building and then you do the power lines afterwards. Yeah, okay All right, I will accept their term their use and terminology of building. We lose all our hatches oh, sad Right, time to wrangle this boy up then. Uh, wrangle, come on. And then we also want to make sure that this guy is eating some sort of sage hatch. Here we go. We were looking at these, right? Lice loaf or something? That would be good. Um, but uh, I, I don't know if he's actually going to get fed up here. Mm, we've got a weird one where we've got water dripping down and getting involved over here. But because this polluted water is so cold, it's freezing on contact, which uh, is it. You see that there? It happened there as well. Uh, so I've set up a, 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 a mop. Uh, is there anything else to melt this? You, sweep nine, super high pro not that, not that high priority. But you are uh, gonna be a problem. We don't we don't want problems here. Oh no. Look how contained the heat is in this system. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really starting to think one of the biggest efficiencies you can ever do to making sure your builds happen nice and quick is but like just build stuff out of local materials. It really just speeds up the whole process like no end. You know what, Th this isn't the complete overhaul that I want to do, but I've been sat here watching this and we really need to just disconnect this from the system here. It will speed up stuff if we could just go through and process the, uh, the two simple gases that we get on this side through here. One thing I didn't double check is that the slime coming out was germ free, but I, I think we're all right. Most of the slime that I can find seems to be germ free and none of the, none of the food over here has got any germs in it. So it, lo it looks good. All right, it's not a miracle work, but I have reworked that pipe and now hopefully this little junction here should operate a lot smoother. But the event that I'm really waiting for before I want to end this episode is slowly evolving over this way. Really tempting just to dump this on the floor and see what happens. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so there's a bunch of ice. Oh, we've got some ice over there. That's no problem. So minus, uh, minus seven at the moment, 15 tons of the stuff. I've got a feeling people are going to start putting it away shortly. But I mean, this will mean that uh, uh, what is there will have less of the thermal mass to, uh, to, to keep cool. I was kind of expecting... 
to be able to watch this change its temperature as we spoke, but that doesn't seem to be going on right now. I mean, the water might be the limiting factor here. You can see its thermal conductivity is only 0 0.6, whatever the unit there is, whereas the, uh, the for the ice it's 2. So, um, I don't know, maybe we'll have to wait around. I mean, we have lost a 0.1 since we last spoke. Ah, that's... Ah. <laughs> We have a problem somehow, and I'm not. Oh, 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 oh! How is how has it even existed for that long without a vent being right there? Oh man, I didn't didn't even realise. So someone get right down here right now. Is anyone on it right now? No, someone come and do it. In fact, a whole bunch of people come and do this right now. It's more important than the ladder that you're trying to build over there. Well, maybe not, but we want we need to get this running because we're starting to run out of oxygen, and I, I noticed that that was a problem that we don't want to have. Wow, that took a long time to get everything delivered here. And then Forrest is going to take a long time building this. Uh, that's kind of okay, because in the meantime, people have been building ladders. Oh, look, a little bit of sand has fallen down there. Let's just grab that. That will be useful at some point. I suppose that's not really that important. It's more for the water flow than for anything. Look, we've got chlorine starting to fall down here. Obviously, it's not quite that cold here, but ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. I, that, I was a little surprised that we had any water sat here whatsoever, as the uh, carbon dioxide really has been like taking the cold down this way. No, we've got a bit of a problem here. So this is the being set up to uh, detect carbon dioxide, and uh, kind of it is in there. But the uh, the gas pump here, it's it's pulling away liquid. It's pulling away everything. It's pulling away. It. Let's let's see if it picks up picks up vacuum. Does it pick up the vacuum? The vacuum is the problem that we've got here. It doesn't seem to be doing what we need it to do. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to come down to the automation. I'm going to grab another gas element sensor. I'm going to put that down there. Uh, we're going to join that up in a different way and then we're going to tell the deconstruct tools to just come along and rip all this down. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got the two-man team of Misaligned and Mad Frank coming along to work on these final bits here. You can see that the water is set up and ready to go just there. We are waiting for these guys to just dig their way through. Uh, if Mad Frank can build that little ladder nice and fast, we should be able to get through as a group in no time. Oh, look at that. Even dropping the sand on top of the ladder kind of helped out there. Uh, split the load, if you will. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and, and watch this happen because it's uh, it's quite a beautiful thing to watch happen, all this water flowing down. It's uh, also given us a whole bunch of salt. That's good because we've been getting through it quite fast in the oxygenation process. Uh, I think it would probably do me well to dig some of these bits out as well. Okay, there we go. The water flows. It's going to take a little while because, we, of course, we are pushing the pressure of the atmosphere uh, in front of us, but it should go... Hmm, look, we've got a nice little pocket forming up there. It's really just kind of taking the numbers from the top here. As you can see, this is, these are dropping in quite large rates uh, and moving them down this way. We need to, of course, dig that out. And I think that wouldn't go amiss. You, you feeling me? I'm feeling it. Let's do that. Uh, also get a few tiles and start backfilling this in if we can. That would also work out quite well. The salinator requires emptying. Has Dr. Captain Subs come to do that right now? All right, let's see. I've never never seen this happen before. Is it just... I mean, it's going to take him some time. Whilst, we do, whilst he does that, I'm going to also let us watch what's going on up there. Man, the... Uh, it, it really is taking a long time. It really is taking a long time. Can we all S and just kind of pull out a little bit, get the whole lot going on? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, top tip, if you want to resize, Alt S will get you the screenshot mode, uh, and then you can resize to any type, any size you want. Press Alt S again to, to, to keep this size frame. Don't try and scroll out. Here, I'll show you. When I scroll out, it actually scrolls in because it's trying to scroll out to the largest size that it's supposed to be uh, for gameplay. I'll be honest with you guys. I was kind of hoping that there'd be a bit more of a torrent of water running down here. Instead, we've got... I mean, just... There is flow, don't get me wrong, but I was kind of expecting this to fill up with water, you know? All of this to push on down and, and fill this up and then all this to push on down. But now that we've got, like, a trapped trapped little chlorine atmosphere here it's not going to be able to force its way through there either that's uh yeah it, it's it's interesting I, I kind of thought with the gas in the in the front it would slow it down but i thought the whole thing would just kind of get pushed down but that is uh that is not the case uh we we are getting a bit of the overflow issue that i said we might do but that's why i went ahead and filled up these tiles here and uh you know a little bit of liquefied ice is not going to cause us any harm if it drops down and into there uh are we going to be able to contain all of it I, I i hope so i really hope so okay mr line coming along to to help the dig here i think even doing that uh will uh, aid the flow it's all about flow aids after all 
what is going on here? It's it's like it's like slime or goop rather than rather than liquid. I mean, it's it's, it's a real strong contender for uh, convincing me that the duplicates are in fact tiny. Tiny, tiny. This isn't actually a gram. This is like micrograms or something because the duplicates have been shrunk down and like these are all just microbes and and look at look at the surface tension. It has to be right. This little loop here is not quite working as smoothly as intended, but it's definitely doing a little bit of stacking here, making sure. Why didn't they flow together? They look like they should have flown together there, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's doing a little bit of good stacking there. Not as, as I say, 100%, but pretty, pretty strong, pretty strong. Okay, I went ahead and cut out the gas vent at the top here in some sort of effort to get this area repressurized. It looks like it's actually worked out quite well for us, so uh, big bonus there. The question is, of course, does it help keep the pressure elsewhere as well? Oh look, we got a we got a printing pod available. Let's have a look. What do we want? Uh, water or volpup? I don't even know what the volpup do. They cannot burrow through refined materials. Okay, uh, they eat the regolith collected on terrestrial surface. They're going to be useful at some point, but right now water is useful. I only just realised how the beds lift the duplicates up and out of the carbon dioxide that they produce into the oxygen that they need to breathe. That's nice. That's nice. That's been here since the, <laughs> the very beginning of the game, and I've never noticed. With the wood burning stove going into place and finally our saltwater tank filled up to bursting, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. Well, we're going to actually make use of the cooling that we've made here. We've got some over overheating uh, natural gas generators over here, and we've got this salt water down here that we want to cool down. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.